very good evening, dear viewers, and thank you for joining us for this uh, special election edition broadcast live on the radio television of Djibouti. We will begin our news tonight with RTD's media coverage during uh, this electoral campaign, as well as the observation of the National Commission of Communication. Let's watch this uh, video. The National Communication Commission in its missions to ensure the respect of the pluralist expression during the electrical campaign at the Radio Television of Djibouti, RTD, and its quality place of the media at the national scale in its capital role, which have brought public and the maximum of faithful connected daily with framework of its emissions, knew how to respect the democratic principles defining at all times the neutrality and the impartiality radio and audiovisual shows broadcasted during the electrical campaign. In order to provide the best possible and fair coverage to ensure and regular airtime for the candidates, RTD demonstrated its know-how during this elections campaign with professionalism. By putting in place a personal and technical system capable of responding at all times to the various coverage needs. The programs were produced, recorded and broadcasted under the same conditions for the candidate. RTD ensured equal and equitable both quality and quantity over coverage for the candidates by providing them with the teams and production means. RTD also ensured equal and fair access for all candidates and their representatives who were given the same airtime and speech time by providing them with special equipped and reserved program within RTD. <laughs> The order in which the candidates appeared on the radio and television programs or spoke first was determined by drawing lots in the Pur of a belief. The information disseminated met the principles of responsibility, impartiality, accuracy, and morality. RTD paid particular attention to the participation of women, young people, and people with special needs in the campaign products, above all through the use of sign language in the various campaign newspapers. And concerning the meetings of the independent candidate, Mr. Zekiria Ismail Farah, the RTD team in charge of following the candidates' meetings returned uh, without pictures because of uh, the cancellations of the meeting. But we have prepared uh, a retrospective report of his previous meetings. Let's watch this video. Again, it should be noted that his meeting did not take place as our RTD team in charge of the social media coverage of his meetings found out. The only meetings organized by the independent candidate at the very beginning of the electrical campaign. Arta hosted the first meeting of the independent candidate Zakaria Ismail Farah on March 26, 2021, who took the initiative to run for the presidential elections. The only candidate running as an independent in the 9th April presidential elections. It was with the, this election that the public in general and that of Arta in particular discovered him. This did not prevent the crowd from showing enthusiasm for the first day of the election, which they considered to be a symbolic and even historic. The independent candidate, Mr. Zakaria, took the floor at the podium to present his program and specially emphasized the mission that animates him, an action that he wishes to undertake for a more promising social momentum. He mentioned several points such as the reasons why he decided to run his campaign program and the political situation in the country. An intervision marked by applause and calls from some chanting Zakaria for a president. Zakaria, who has put the valorization of the citizen at the heart of his campaign program, in his own words, the majority of citizens are neglected and live from day to day, which is essentially what his campaign is all about. These messages were also repeated during the meeting in Humbuli, the district where he was born and where he took the first steps as a schoolboy. It is in his natural environment that he went to ask for support. Some people present on the side, especially the older ones, recognize this child of the neighborhood to whom they assured of all their support toward the electrical process. Traditional dances and songs were played and the crowd rocked to the rhythm of the songs that the independent candidate shared, an exception for Zakaria, who had the chance to grow up with all the communities that make up this area. 
The candidate Zakaria declared himself proud and honored for such a mobilization in support. Verdict on 9th of April. In last day of these thematic uh, meetings, uh, the UMP candidate Ismail Margheli received this morning the intellectuals and ulamas at his residence in Haramusa. This meeting served as a framework uh, of, for several topics that were in the agenda in these exchanges between the UMP candidate and the ulama focused on the situation of some mosques and other issues. In a speech delivered for this occasion, the UMP candidate said we were our Muslims country that want to promote the development of religious practice based on tolerance and knowledge of a sacred text as Djibouti is a nation open to the world and a republic that guarantees freedom of worship, he said. Another meeting took place, but this time with the scholars and intellectuals of the nation. The exchanges concerned the question relating to the fields of scientific research, the publication of works, but also articles of researches. These meetings with the ulama and intellectuals illustrate the importance uh, that the candidate attaches to the education and reaffirm in this beautiful festival of excellence his attachment to a quality of education for all of the children. <laughs> And in a speech delivered for this occasion, the candidate of the, UN, the Union for the Presidential Majority, UMP, said that the Republic of Djibouti was a nation open to the world and a republic that guarantees freedom of worship. Let's listen to his remarks. Our meeting with you, dear scholars and ulamas, comes as a manner of honoring and appreciating your commended efforts in spreading the values of religion, morals, and social virtues, and we will work to support you in every way to fulfill your ideal role and contribute to achieving the goals of integrated development. And with the help of the Almighty God, we will establish classes to teach the Quran in schools, the establishment of the Center for Memorization of the Noble Quran and Hadith Science in the country, and we also work on the reorganization of religious charities. <laughs> Last meeting today, the great appointments at the Gulady Stadium of the candidate of the Union for the Presidential Majority, Ismail Margheli, so much awaited, ended at the Gulady Stadium. The citizens of these historical districts uh, of the Djibouti and Kabila, those living in the uh, communes of Rasdika, Bulaos, and Balbala, have realized this afternoon a real uh, demonstration of strength to show their favorite uh, candidate, in this case, the outgoing uh, President Smail Margheli, their abnection uh, to support his candidacy for April 9, 2021. The Gulari Stadium was in its surroundings have been packed. The candidate IG came as usual, accompanied by his wife, Mrs. Khadra Mohamud Haid. He was welcomed by the senior staff of the UMP. <laughs>
This last meeting brought together all the big names of the Jebusians' artists and musical uniforms, universe. Indeed, the this plethora of artists among the most uh, emblematic of the Jebusian nation and Somali stars, especially invited for this occasion, has hit the stage. <laughs> In opening the speeches of this meeting, the activists have taken the floor uh, to show their support to the UNP uh, candidates. Let's listen to them. Today, Hatta <laughs> And Marka Anagu, Wahakara Kadanai, Marka Hore Agnai, Hagadambe Agnai, Bidish Agnai, Midig Agnai, Inan Madahuina Hayaga, Haji Smail Umar Gale, Yamarwadi Sa, Murwahadra Mahamud Hyde, Inan Hili Hoba Lagar of Jogolo. Mudana Madahuine, Waha Kutir Sanai, Ralika Noganai, Mamsud Kunoganai, Sia Sadala when accent. Mudana <laughs> 
A senior uh, official of the UMP, in this case Mr. Hamadou Aramis, a member of the government, uh, spoke at the Guleri Stadium this afternoon in front of thousands of UMP activists for the final popular meetings uh, which closed tonight. The candidacy, he said, of Mr. Smail Mergele is the choice of the youth, announced Mr. Aramis in his introduction. Let's listen to him. <laughs> كن حدّه يندبه ينكي حدّكوك بيوائي أنك عكا كرهي تو عدي حقي لك بارو هنايتا خضر محمود حيري ويسا سايمري غاركي إنكي تينوكي حق هلتنجي هلّه تنديسويو إن يفدر عسيتك أبهتني أسا كونا Yohudi kambay fakim yemi take kona raka kaya ila aharrafana nekru guktani ki gadda gaya hati etikari. And talking to Mr. Ayas Musa Dwale, the Secretary General of the RPP Party, was delighted and thanked the public for their uh, support in their unwavering uh, support. Let's listen to him. Waad na sharaftan khasatan madahweinina مدحوينه هنا مرشح هنا وات شرفتين ما نلنا هاي إلى هاي أنا شرفيني كنا وقت بال جوجا إسماعيل عمر قال لي وحن ندي نصو نقو محن نو صو نقو أن لنا إسقى ومدنا هنا إنه ولا ليال إسماعيل عمر قال لي مرشح ما هو وحن ندنا هنا إنه وحن ندنا هنا إنا أن صو نقط كأوربنا وحوي قرن كنا يا ربنا إنه أتكادو وجيري مادو مد نمدي إنا ربنا إنا أتكادو كل جعل كنا إيه وده جوج كنا إيه وده جير كنا يا ربنا إنا مل أذق أن إدبا إدبا دبدي إنا رجين كرين أن قرسينو and the vice president of the RPP party, Mr. Abdul Qadir Kamil Muhammad, has also delivered a speech during uh, uh, this campaign in, at the Guler Stadium and thanked the supporters uh, for their participating massively in this last encounter of the UMP candidates' meetings. Let's listen to him. <laughs> إن أتكثر عادين أن نجا وحن لجرنا إسماعيل عمر قال لي وحن نلينا هاي بلنك واجب معه سيذا أتهين سيذا أتهين وحد وحن يقدونينا إن سحر ده بحسين and to wrap up the series of interventions, the UMP candidate Ismail Mergeli uh, stressed that Djibouti remains a land of peace and, and its resolute march to a, a greater prosperity and well-being. Let's listen to his remarks. إن أي ما أنت أي سي كوردين ما هي لي وحي كدي جنتاي واحد دو أدوه دونيس أما قفك إنه كو هجو أما أو كو تليو أما أو كو هركعو أدونيسو دورشيسة صندوق الله تجيسو ويا الديمقراطية دل شيء غيبا تاسا وغورس دلين تنو وحويان مستقبل كين دلين تنو وحويان كوي دلكن ديسي يبرتور كوي دحلي يبرتور وحان دلين تنو انت وحبرتي انت كلبا وحان جعلنا هاي فرصمة ده انا نين والبا كوهو بينو فرصمة ونولوشيسا كوما رينكارو وحان جعلنا أما أن كنت دارنا إن أن أشجعنا أدونك ضد جبوتيان ليله هو أو كفو جدي عذر ضد ضد كله هاي استا أو كل كله جوي جيو إياته هاي رجبوتي بانا هاي ونا يا نقول فلان 
ayan lena sida sey midnima de nuku atkanaysa sida sey walal nima de nuku atkanaysa sida sal kudda fa'ina dalken ah mesha donti adda taktid hal karun ba ku so hilaas waxan doonayna ina isku ogaano qaran nimo isku ogaano walal nimo isku ogaano horumar an isku ogaano walaalayaal waxan doonayna ardaydeenu in ay beesha ugu sareysa an gaarsiin waxan doonayna in nasiibka ina siino arday kasta oo mareekan iyo faransi iyo wuxuu doonay hada uu leeyahay inuu yeesho anaga doonayna wuxuu doonay anaga ka baxaan maxay yeelay aqligaasi ayaa keeni doona in horumarka runta ah ee salka leh ee jirida leh ee no asmahaya in aan soo galno safka dadka hore u maray waxaan nasiib ku leenahay on ayaan ku leenahay dad wanaagsan baan leena dad wanaagsan ayaan leena aan ku faraadeyno balankeenu waxa uu yahay waajib kiini galin yaroy iyo waayeel balankiini inad ku hisan bisha sagalkeega oo sida aan u arkayo quruxdeeda aan santuuqana ka helno wan huba inaad sidaad maanta u timaadeen iyo inta aad ka timaadeen ba inaad fulinaysan wan huba dalkeen waxa noolaado jamhuuriyadda jabuuti ha noolaato shacbiga jabuuti ha noolaado wassalaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi and that was the speech of the UMP candidate Smile Omar Gillin. That's it for this edition. Thank you for joining us for this special election news and have a good night.